Hi guys, today in lesson 1.7 we're going to continue to talk about rates, but this time we're going to use the term rate of change or constant rate of change. A rate of change can be shown using a table or a graph, and today we're going to talk about using a table. It's a rate that shows how one quantity changes in relation to another. So, for example, if you're babysitting and you're making dollars per hour, this rate shows as you work more hours, you earn more dollars. And we're going to be using this formula, the change in y over the change in x. For all of these charts and tables, we're going to be using this formula, change in y over the change in x. In this example, the table shows the number of students that buses can transport. We're going to use the table to find the constant rate of change in students per school bus. And you'll notice the chart is not labeled x and y, so I will do that for you. We're going to label this x, and we're going to label this y. We're going to find the change in the number of students and the change in the number of buses. So in order to do that, we're going to use these arrows. We want to see the change in x, and we want to see the change in y. That means how does it increase? So if we looked at x, we notice it goes from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. We know that x increases by 1. If we looked at y, we see that it goes from 144 to 216. To find that increase, you would just find the difference we find that 216 minus 144 is 72. We see that y increases by 72. With that information, we're going to use this formula, change in y over the change in x. Well, the change in y, we see that it increases 72 students. And we see that the change in x or the change in the number of buses increases by one bus. This rate can be simplified to 72 students per bus. Hopefully you've noticed that the constant rate of change is also the unit rate. And we've already discovered that the unit rate or the constant rate of change is 72 students per bus. So the big idea, this means that each bus can hold 72 students. So we'll move on to one more example so you get the hang of reading a table and finding the change in y over the change in x. In this example, we're talking about a fundraiser, a car wash for the booster club. And they're given a chart. They're given x, the number of cars, and you're given y, the money raised. And we're going to label our x and y and find the change in y over the change in x. Well, they've already done these arrows here for us. We see that x increases by 5 cars. Oh, and I put the x in the wrong place you'll notice that the X goes on the bottom. So five cars, and we see the change in Y is the money earned. And if you look here, it's increased by $40. So you would reduce this, which would turn out to be eight. We need to label it. We know it's $8 per car. Well, what's the whole big idea then? Just using this chart, what have we discovered? We discovered that the unit rate, which is also the rate of change, how the number of cars and the money earned change in relation to one another. And the big idea is we found it's $8 per car. The Booster Club raised $8 per car. <laughs> 